Hello, welcome back to another Hitfilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this glitchy title effect completely inside of Hitfilm Express for free. In the description I've included a free uh, Hitfilm title template which you can go download and then at the end of the video I'll show you how to import it and how to use it and all the cool features about that. I just want to say that this effect is based off of a video copilot tutorial about creating a glitchy title however oh, that's for After Effects so I've modified it and made it for HitFilm. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is create a new composite shot and I'm going to call this glitchy title. I'm going to set it to 4 seconds long and I'm going to leave the width and the height to 1920 by 1080 have 30 frames per second and I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to create a new text layer and I'm going to write glitch. I'm also going to change the font from Arial to Astrolab and I'm just going to scale this up. That's completely up to you how you want to have that set up. I'm going to rename this to just being text. Now I'm going to create another comp shot and I'm going to call this displacement map displacement map 1 and I'm going to leave all of the settings how they are then hit OK. In this comp I'm going to create a new plane it can be any colour I'm just going to name this plane then hit OK and now I'm going to grab the fractal noise from the effects tab drag and drop that onto my plane layer I'm now going to change the interpolation from cubic to block then I'm going to open the transform properties and change the scale from 150 pixels to 35.8. I'm going to go into the axis scaling tab and change the X from 100 to 777.9. And then I'm going to set the Y scaling to 221.9. This has stretched out the pixels, the blocks in the fractal noise. Then I'm going to go into the sub settings tab and I'm going to change the sub levels from 10 to 2. And then I'm going to change the scale from 50 to 28. Then I'm going to go into the appearance tab and I'm going to start keyframing for exposure and offset. But I'm going to set them for 10 and 1. Then I'm going to skip to 1 second in and I'm going to change the exposure to being negative 10 and the offset to being negative 1. This has animated the fractal noise fading. And you'll see what that does in a second because it creates some really cool effects with the text when we apply it. I'm also going to go up to the seed and start keyframing on seed and then I'm going to move ahead to 1 second and then I'm going to change this to 40. And now there's some more movement added in. I'm going to go back into the glitchy title composite shot and I'm going to drag and drop the displacement map composite shot into this timeline. I'm just going to hide it. Now I'm going to go and grab a set mat effect and drag and drop this onto the text. I'm going to change the source layer from none to displacement map 1. I'm going to change the matte source from alpha to luminance and I'm going to change the blend from replace to subtract. And now as you can see, as the text fades in, as the fractal fades in, the text appears. Okay, so now you, what you want to do is add the displacement effect. And I'm just going to drag and drop that below the set map. I'm going to change the source layer from none to displace one. And I'm going to set the vertical max vertical displacement to zero. And I'm going to change the max horizontal displacement to 97.5. This, as you can see, will distort it on the horizontal. Now I'm going to duplicate this displacement and I'm going to change the max horizontal displacement to negative 75.0. This will stop it from moving over to the side. Now I'm going to duplicate both of these and that will stretch it out but keep it all in the same place as it glitches in. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the displacement map 1 and I'm going to rename this 
to displacement map 2. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go into the properties of the plane and I'm going to open the effects. I'm just going to change the seed to start at 50 and end 40 later. 90. I'm then going to go into the axis scaling and I'm just going to tweak this until I more have blocks that stretch up rather than across. Because this will create the vertical displacement. I'm also going to go into the sub settings and set the sub levels to zero. Then I'm going to go into the transform, go to frame one, and start keyframing on the position. Then I'm going to go one second in, and I'm going to change the Y value to make it so that it is moving up. I'm going to go back into the glitch title. I'm going to drop displacement map two at the bottom. I'm going to hide it. I'm going to go into the text, and I'm just going to duplicate all of these displacements. I'm going to change the displacement map 1 to displacement map 2 and I'm then going to zero out that position and I'm going to add 50 to the vertical displacement. And I'm going to do the same for the others apart from set them to being negative 50 and then I'm going to repeat the process from before. Set this one to 50 and then the final one is going to be set to negative 50. You can play around with these settings as much as you would like. I'm going to add a colour cycle effect and drop that below the displacement. I'm going to change the input phase from luminance to lightness and I'm going to go into the output controls and change channels from... I'm going to change the alpha from replace to original. I'm then going to go into the cycle and change number of colours from 4 to 2. And then I'm going to change these two colours from being blue to a white or whatever colour you want your text to be at the end and then you want to change your pink colour there from that colour to whatever colour you want as the text kind of generates in. However, as you can see that's not doing anything and it's not changing the colour of anything. But then you want to go into the add phase and in layer you can choose either one of these displacements. So if you select first displacement you can just have a look through that see what that one looks like and have a look through the second displacement. I think I might go with the first. I'm also going to turn off interpolate palette. This means that it will be red and white. That is the bulk of the glitch effect created. So now what I'm going to do is create a new grade layer on top and I'm going to add a glow. Drag and drop a glow onto this grade layer and change the intensity from 0.8 to 1 and then I'm going to change the threshold from 40% to 18% and I'm going to change the radius from 60 to 48 then I'm going to duplicate this glow and I'm going to put the intensity to 1.7 I'm going to change I'm going to keep the threshold at 18 and I'm going to have the radius from 48 for 220 this will really make your text glow Okay, you can play around with all of these settings, so you can change the glows, you can change the colours, you can change the amount of displacement, you can play around with the fractal noise used for the displacement maps. But I have included in the description a free template for the glitch effect that I created. So, I'm going to show you how to import this into your project. Okay, so I've just created a new project and I'm going to press the import and import composite shop. Then I'm going to find my glitch template that I have included in the link below. You can go, it will take you to a Google Drive and then you download the file and then save it somewhere on your computer, unzip it and then follow along. So I'm going to select my glitchy title file and I'm going to hit open. As you can see, this imports a file with some published properties. That's what that means there. So this isn't a composite shot, so you can't open it. You just drag and drop that onto your footage. And then, as you can see, it generates a cool looking title that does glitch out, as you can see there. But you might want to change some of these settings. So select the text layer go into the controls and as you can see you've got an edit text, you've got colour, 
you've got another color, you've got the glow controls. And if you hit the edit text button, it highlights the text so you can change it to whatever. So subscribe and that will load in. We might also want to change the size from the text tab and you can also do that by selecting it and then you have full control over the text so you can change the spacing, you can change the font, you can change how it looks, and you can change it from like bold and all of that kind of stuff. Instead of changing your colour in the text controls, you can change it from inside of the actual controls of the layer. So I want to change the colour that the glitch is to blue. That blue looks cool. And you can see that has changed the colour from the red to the blue, and I can set that to anything. So you go with the pink, and that will change it to pink, and it updates its glows and everything, and it looks really cool. I kind of like the red though. Then you can play around with the intensity of the glows and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to download the free template for this effect, then there's a link in the description.